What is going on, guys? This is Tommy Place, and I'm back with another episode of Star Wars Old Republic. So, let's go far through. We are, uh, down in the depths of this place. This is the place I was talking about, uh, it was either last episode or two episodes ago that I thought we were going before. I believe it was last episode. But yeah, as you can see, it's kind of like hell. <laughs> but yeah, basically, I just, uh, fast traveled. If I didn't fast travel, I used the, I used the teleporter to come here. I mean, I would show you it, but it's really not that pressing. <laughs> Anyways. Let's get up here. Let's start killing some things, because that's what this has to say. of my children are you? Why have they sent you to me? Uh, I need to be I'm looking for a machine that can rebuild me. The Rakata called me the Mother Machine. I call myself Asha. My children are as numerous as the Rakata once were. I called them Twi'lek, Sabrak, Eshka, I loved them all. I can remake you, but I must ask you to free me. I will no longer slave to the Rakata. Their age is done. Wait, the Rakata made aliens? You're some sort of artificial intelligence the Rakata used to create new life forms. The Rakata enslaved me to create a force powerful species that might give them insight into their own lost sensitivity. Bah. Never trust a machine. They took some of my children for slaves, imprisoned others for further experimentation or destruction. Please, you must release me. Uh, no. If the Rakata have you restrained, it's for good reason. Rebuild me. When you abandon your mother, I hope your pattern poisons those tyrants. Yeah, I mean, if they put her in there, then stuff it for a good reason. I'm not going to... I'm not going to mess up and free her. Oh, 
awesome. Go to your ship's airlock on Belsatis. Right. Oh, wait, nope, I don't feel like making this guy's mad. <laughs> right to Belsatis then. I believe this is a space station, so let's go. Right. Let's go to our ship's airlock then. We're not going to our actual ship, we're going to its airlock, so we need to make sure I don't click on the ship. What do I want to go to the airlock? No one will go to the airlock, and only means we need to fight someone or something else. Whatever. Let's just, just go see what we need to do here. Is that, is that what they're calling the intercom now? Meeting console. <laughs> Wait, first I'm gonna go talk to Rashar. If you hadn't become Sith, what did you want to be? Mm, I don't know. I would have settled for not a slave. Yeah. I guess I would have felt the same in your shoes. I've been thinking about this lately. I was trained to be a Jedi practically from birth. Being with you, I'm questioning a lot of things. I'm much more in touch with my emotions, for example. The Jedi really not Are the Jedi really that repressed? No, I wouldn't say repressed. It's just a different way of experiencing the world. The rules about that sort of thing have gotten lighter over the years. Jedi can marry, with permission, but most remain That's... unmarried by choice. Mission. Yeah, emotions are important. It's still foolish. The intellect, the body, the emotions, all have their role to play. Mind and body, yeah. I understand, but I'm still not sure about emotions. My body tells me that fire burns when I put my hand in it, and my mind remembers so that I don't put my hand in the fire again. But what role do emotions play? They help you feel, yeah. Emotions interpret your body's sensations. They tell you that pain is bad and pleasure is good. Like the goosebumps I get when you touch me? Look, hmm. I wasn't trying to start an argument. Let's just enjoy this. What I mean is, I've never been so happy. Me neither. Stick with me and we'll make the whole galaxy jealous. <laughs> I can't wait. Yes. Yes. Aha. I like that very much. <laughs> Nailed it. Alright, now that I got my relationship with her, that's a good thing. That's what I wanted to do. Anyways, it's, yeah, that's something I never really uh, did uh, quite get with the Jedi Order was the whole there is no emotion, this is always emotion. I'm finished here. Can't really stop it. You're looking a lot better, that's for sure. Papa no Gasavans, no Anis, Pose Us Tauhana. Hey, we're getting a hollow call here. Someone named Moff Pyron. Moff Pyron? What is that? Wait, come on. Uh. Looks like we're taking that one. Alright, we got a new lightsaber. So let's switch these out. Right, 
Or is this lightsaber sound like? Still like trash, but it's okay. Alright, he's trying to call me. My lord, Moff Valiant Pyron. I've heard much about you. I thought it was time we spoke. I've been watching this conflict between you and Thanaton. I intend to be on the winning side. Ah, you're calling to kiss my boots. <laughs> Carry on. No, I'm calling to give you an opportunity. You lack Imperial connection. But with the proper display of patriotism, you could easily win many of the moths to your side. I serve my loyalty to the Empire is unquestionable. It is my duty to serve. If only more Sith Lords thought like you. At Thanaton's behest, the Empire recently cut funding on a project called the Silencer. A super weapon capable of disintegrating an entire armada. If an ambitious young Sith were to see the weapon to completion and then test fire it on a Republic fleet, he would be well regarded. Mm. I have plenty of I'm guessing it takes more than sheer desire to complete this weapon. You're right. A special sensor chip, the CN-12, is required. The chip is only built on Nar Shaddaa. It's illegal in the Republic. In the Empire, it's... Well, we don't use it lightly. But I understand your little cult on Nar Shaddaa has moved into electronic weaponry and is now the chief supplier of these chips. All right. I will consult my cult and see what we can do for you. I'm pleased to hear it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have this business of the war to attend to. Alright. Hold on, before we go to North Shadora, I want to speak with Ashara again, because it looks like she still wants to talk to me. My lord, I know I'm not officially your apprentice, but I wanted to thank you. I know we've not always seen eye to eye, but I've learned so much from you and your example. You may not always follow the light, but you are good. I couldn't do it without you. I'm glad I can help. I feel more at one with the Force than I've ever felt. I have peace like the Jedi speak of and freedom like the Sith. So, thank you. No problem. Yeah, like, I haven't chosen my side to decisions a lot more ever since I started using Gorgeous because I want to appeal to her more but was not sure it's here. Yes it is. Right, so there it is. Let's go. Alright, it is in your courts. I haven't spoken to them in a while. That's for sure. Might be a little pissed that I left, but <laughs> uh, if they dis if they uh, don't want to work with us, then we will start threatening them. And if they still don't work with us, then we'll start killing them until they dis until they decide to work with us. Because you know that's the way this is. When I uh, complete this, I might actually start a Jedi Knight walkthrough too, because I did do a little bit of a Jedi Knight, but it was so long ago that 
Honestly, I just don't talk. remember. 50 credits says you wind up shoving it into a shutter and laughing. Shit, just don't talk. <laughs> I, I might, I think I might take it and I walk through this with this, you know? I, I feel like it would be fun. I don't remember the storyline at all, so... I think it would be really fun to do. I think my Jedi Knight's only like level 14 or something. I'm really not that far into. Alright, let's go speak with our court. Don't tell me I have to take another taxi. I think I might have to. Oh no, I don't. Good. Cold, I'm back. My lord, you've returned to us. My lord, the great dragon. We'll tell Masters Riley and Destris you're here. We hope you'll be proud of the work we've done. Yes, my lord. We practically own the streets. Good. My lord, good to see you again. Hope you like what we've done with the place. What can old Riley and Destris do for you? Uh... I, need a I understand you've been busy since I saw you last. I'm interested in the CN12. CN12, huh? Funny you should mention it. We wanted to build your cult up into something big, see? And we picked the CN12 to do it. It's a real crazy technology, and it just happened some of the members worked on an early prototype called the Deathmark. We saw an opening, and there you have it. It was all dandy until a mucker called the Veil got involved. He's blasted our supply chain to pieces, and he controls the CN-12 market now. Uh, and... Surely he'll be open to negotiations. He hasn't listened to a word so far. He's not easy to get at. Holes up in Shadow Town. And he made it clear he only wants to meet with the boss. We, uh, didn't think that was really an option. Alright. I will put on my most unsettling display of charm. That's what I like about you, my lord. When you get an idea, you don't mess around. Good luck. Alright. Okay, BL. Let's do that then. I'm actually happy they're not mad at me. I thought they would be because I kind of just stitched them. <laughs> Anyways, it's uh... Let's go locate BL. See if I have to kill him or not. Come on. 
go. Alright. You sure you'll be alright? Hello. Anyone home? Ah, hi there. I'm here as requested. Which one of you is the Veil? I am the Veil. No, I am the Veil. No, it is me. I am the Veil. Oh, I hate all of you. Actually, none of us are the Veil. Because all of us are the Veil. Still, we are all very glad to make your acquaintance, Cult Master. It's a pleasure to make yours. I understand you have the CN-12. You want the CN-12. Everyone wants the CN-12. But few are willing to pay the price. The streets of Nar Shaddaa only have room for one true voice. Give us control of your cult, and we will give you the CN-12. Um... How about no? You seem to have made a mistake. I'm not a naive thug like Destris or Riley. That is why we wanted to deal with you. The lowlifes that run your cult are brutal enough, but they lack vision. Why settle for a cult when you can have an empire? Our resources extend beyond the CN-12. Armies need weapons, ships need engines. What does your cult provide you now? Donations? Artifacts? We offer that and more. Our reach extends across the galaxy. Simply send a signal from one of these devices, and our servants will come to your aid anywhere in the galaxy, not just on Nar Shaddaa. You will give me the CN-12, and you will serve me. We will give you the CN-12. We will serve you. Please, let us join your cult. I don't let people join for free. Of course, my lord. <laughs> Here is the CN-12. We assure you, you will not regret this. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, back to our court we go. Funny, I didn't have to fight anymore. Of course, very soon, Swade. So useful. Alright. Back to our court we go. Elevator. Come on. <laughs> These guys are very, uh, very weird. On elevator, stop being slow. Right, let's go. Welcome, please select an available travel route. <laughs> I wanna. Alright, I'm 140 now. <laughs> Grand Crystal Pack contains one color crystal drum and many more friends out. Walking color crystals. Interesting. What kind of crystals do they have? I kind of want to get a uh, like a completely white crystal. Not really sure though. For the featured things. What's this? Plunder pack. Yeah. Okay. What's this? I'm sure that's a Republic thing, isn't it? I'm not sure. Let's go. What I really need to get is the uh, coup, uh, skill slot. I have no money to buy it. It's just I don't want to spend real money. 
I mean, I, I understand it's only five dollars, but I'm kind of like, do I really want to? I mean, to be honest, I probably never use it, so it's kind of one of those things. I'm like, nah. I, I just, if I ever see it in the uh, galactic market, I, and I have enough credits, I'll buy it. But, yeah. Because there's none in the galactic market, the chances of it uh, being affordable for me would be really small too. So, how did the meeting with the Vale go? The Vale was three people, but I made them see reason. Three people? Who would have thought? Stick around as long as you like. The members are happy to have you here. Stay as long as you like, my lord. We are always happy to have you among us. Alright, that, that's exactly what Destris just said. <laughs> and, no, because I'm leaving. <laughs> Is this the base station? Yep, let's go. You know, I would stay, but I have uh, things to attend to, so... Bye. Kinda interesting, I didn't have to fight anymore. You know, I'm <laughs> definitely not gonna complain about it. Let's go. Once we use our hollow tower, I think I'll, uh... Go ahead and, uh... End the episode. I'm also getting kinda hungry, so I think I'll go eat lunch after this. I should have to go. Things over here. Right. Let's go. Sure, I might want to talk to me too. I'll definitely I'll, uh, record that also. Sure, doesn't want to talk to me. All right, that's fine. Let's just use a hard. My tool. lord, you are very efficient. I promised you my respect and support, but you have also gained my admiration. I trust you've heard the bad news. Darth Thanaton's superior on the Dark Council died mysteriously. Darth Thanaton has succeeded him. <laughs> mysteriously, Thanaton yeah, probably. His insistence on killing me has made one thing clear. Turning back is not an option. I admire your determination, but I don't know how the other Moffs will feel about opposing one of the galaxy's twelve most powerful Sith. Now, more than ever, the silencer must be completed, and you must take the credit. The Moffs must see the true future of the Sith Empire. Let me know when the weapon is completed. I will fire it myself. <laughs> I will contact you when the weapon is ready for demonstration. Good luck, my lord. Can I use the weapon like just on Thanaton? <laughs> like just aim it directly at his face. My lord, the Belsavis machine. It's made you better, but it wasn't enough to drive the voices from your head, was it? You're not so bad. It doesn't matter. I've gotten used to it. Zash is indisposed at the moment, but we still have the writings of Darth Vilas. We should go to Voss. Your body is cured, but Master Ryan always said, a Jedi's mind must be whole. It's the same for a Sith. You can't face Thanaton until you can control the dead you've found. Alright, well I'm gonna end this episode here, if you liked. Oh wait, actually we'll talk to a shot then I did. I don't know how to say this, but I think we should take a break. What? Jamie? What? What's wrong? It's hard for me to explain. It's not you. It's just our relationship flies in the face of the Jedi Order, the Jedi Code. I just need time to think things through. But you're not a Jedi. You killed Jedi. Huh. Yeah, just, just take I want time. you to be comfortable. 
Just tell me everything's gonna be all right, and I'll believe you. Shh. That's enough talking. Let me show you how much I love you. I'm sorry, I'm not ready. I love you, I do. It's all right. We can wait until you're ready. Yes. Thank you. I'm sorry. It's fine, I'll give you your time. Just... All right, well, I'll end the episode off here. If you liked it, make sure to like and subscribe, and as always, have a nice day.